Well, hello there, Bears fans. It is your lovely host here. It is your right, right. How's everyone doing out there? I am going to discuss about the AFC Championship game. It took place yesterday. And the NFC Championship game. It took place yesterday. The first game I'm going to discuss about the Bucks and the Packers. So sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, grab some drink. Now, if you don't want to do like that, maybe you want to check out the villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on this subject. Um, follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, and my own Facebook page. It is called The Rye Rye Show. Let's begin here. Now, I don't know if you guys know that the Packers and the Buccaneers used to be in the same division back in the day. I am not joking. And then they decided, the NFL decided to... Had different divisions. Okay. So the Packers used to face the Buccaneers twice a year. I am not joking. It was a very good game. Overall. Um, I had a feeling that Packers were going to lose this game. Um, the coach made a horrible decision. Why did I go for the field goal? Late in the game. That was very, very stupid. You could tell that Rodgers was very pissed off. Very depressed. Not depressed, but very sad. In his press conference. Is this it? For Rodgers in Green Bay. Mm, maybe, maybe not. I think it is because the Packers really effed up. Instead of give someone to help Rodgers, they got a quarterback. And they didn't make no blockbuster trades before the season was over. That was another stupid thing. He was on fire. This guy should be the MVP. If not, then that's a shame. I had a feeling that's going to happen. Back-to-back -back title games, they lost. Last year, they got the buck kick against the Niners. Last night, they lost to the Buccaneers. You know? So, Tom Brady, once again, is going back to the Super Bowl for his 10th appearance. Okay? It was a very good game. Okay? Now, the AFC, the Chiefs dominate the Bills. So, Chiefs are going back to the Super Bowl. I really think the NFL wanted this matchup in the first place. The veteran versus the current Super Bowl winner, Patrick Holmes. This should be a very good game. Do you remember a couple of years ago? The Patriots versus the Los Angeles Rams. That was the most boring Super Bowl since Super Bowl 2000. The Giants and the, the Ravens. You know why? Because... A lot of puns and special teams, but it's very boring. I love great offense and I love great defense. So, sucks that matchup recently. So, and I guarantee that Belichick really screwed up. They should never get rid of Tom Brady. I know he's up there in age, but he performed like he's in his 20s yesterday. And I'm so glad that. Uh, the Packers lost because I'm a Bears fan. You never, ever root for the Packers. Just because the Bears are out of it, you don't root for them. My dad did, and I told him yesterday they're not gonna make, they're not gonna go to the Super Bowl, and I was right. Rodgers is one and four in the NFC title game. That's kind of sad, but I don't know. I think he needs a new atmosphere, new scenery. He's not gonna go to Chicago because. Green Bay will not allow that. I guarantee you're going to go to a better contender, you know. Green Bay, I don't know. They're like up and down team. I don't think he's a good coach at all, but that's a horrible decision. They went for a field goal. This is not Madden. This is a real thing, you know. So, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. It sucks. If you're a Packer fan, I'm sorry. But you guys will bounce back. I don't know if Rodgers is going to come back for your franchise or not. I think he should finish his career. Don't be like Tom Brady. Just because you lost in a playoff game, that does not mean you should go to another NFL team to bounce back and, and win a Super Bowl. Hell no. Don't be like Tom Brady. Stay in Green Bay and finish your career. You know? But if, if, you're, if you're head coach and GM... Don't get along, then I guess you have no choice to leave. 
So this NFL free agency is going to be very, very interesting. Is Jimmy G going to go back to the Patriots? Who knows? Because he didn't do very good with the Niners, okay? And plus, the Niners had a lot of injuries. Lots of injuries. That's why they did not repeat as NFC champions. Is the Bears going to do anything? He just recently got a new defense coach, not Mike, not Mike Singletary, because the Bears are idiots. They got a guy who's on their coaching staff. They just moved him up. So I don't know if that's going to be a good move or a bad move. I prefer the guy get the guy from the, the Broncos come back, but I guess he's staying. I don't know what's going to happen with the, our quarterback situation. Mitchell is gone. So... And uh, the quarterback from the Detroit Lions, they're going to part ways. So maybe the Bears could get him. I doubt it because then the Bears got to, then the Lions got to face him twice a year. Matthew is a good quarterback, but Detroit Lions is a horrible franchise. Just like they did for Barry Sanders. Great running back. He never won the whole thing. He walked away early in his career. You know, I don't understand that franchise. Do you like the Minnesota Vikings? The Minnesota Vikings, sorry Vikings fans, you guys will never win a Super Bowl. You guys spend all that money on Kirk Cousins and you guys can get the job done. You guys do very well in the regular season, maybe in the playoffs, in the wild card round or the division round, but you guys can do nothing. Just like us. We suck. You know? But don't ever give up on your team. Same thing for you, Giants. I don't know if... Your quarterback, Jones, is a franchise quarterback. You know, you you know, you guys don't know until maybe if you don't guys if you don't do nothing this year, get rid of him, trade him. But I think that's just me. Keep him and get a veteran for free agency. Maybe you might get um um the guy from the Miami Dolphins, Mister Magic. He is good. Get him, make him as a starter, then Jones could um, learn from him, you know. Fed Rivers retired recently. Um, um, Greg Olson, he's a former Bears tight end. He recently retired yesterday. So there's a lot of players that are retiring left and right. I don't know what's going to happen with Larry Fitzgerald. He should retire. You know, these guys need to retire. If they didn't long. If they know in the league too long, retire. What else you got to prove? Stats? Trying to win a championship? Big Ben should retire, but I don't know if he wants to because he went out as a loser. Not as a loser, but he did not play very well. Uh, Drew Brees. He don't know what's, we don't know what's going on with him. He played per terrible in the division round. So, I guarantee that if Drew Brees beat Tom Brady, who will win that matchup? Drew Brees or Brett Favre? Not Brett Favre, but Rodgers. I was going for um, Drew Brees. I like Drew Brees better because um, um, Rodgers with the Bears. I mean, with um, the Packers. I like to see the Rodgers with the Bears, but he's up there in age. So, of course, he's a future Hall of Famer whenever he's done with his career. Phil Rivers will be a Hall of Famer probably like in 2023 or 2024 when he's whenever he's eligible. So, sorry, I'm cold. So, Buffalo Bills, you guys will bounce back. But if Belichick will make like a blockbuster move, maybe they won't get Watson from Houston or a free eight from or an NFL draft or something like that, they will be back in a division race. So, watch out, Buffalo Bills. Miami is going to be good. I don't know about the Jets. They might be another laughing stock of the NFL. Who knows? They might get Trevor Lawrence from Clemson. Or he might be a total bust. Like what happened to Ryan Leaf a couple of years ago or a couple of de decades ago. He was a total bust. Thank God um, the Colts did not get him. They got um, Payne Manning. Hopefully Manning will be in the Hall of Fame. I don't like Manning because he beat the Bears in the Super Bowl that year. <laughs> so what's your thoughts all that good stuff. So, the Super Bowl veteran versus the young guy, the young slinger, um, Patrick Holmes. I prefer two young guys, two young slingers, but it was never the case. So, 
Hopefully one time the Bears could go to the Super Bowl. The defense is kind of iffy for the Bears. And the offense is very sloppy. One time they could have great offense. And another time the offense is crap. You can never, you can never rely on your defense so much. Because then your defense will get tired. Then your offense got to pick up the slack, you know. I miss the good old days when they have a Hester, Erlacher, Lance Bridge. That defense was awesome. You know, the quarterback was not very good, but that's the bear for you. If we had a good quarterback, if we had a good quarterback, I guarantee we'll be division champs or even win the Super Bowl, but we never know. We just need a good quarterback. Maybe we'll get Matthew if we can get Watson. Bears need to make a blockbuster trade. Don't wait for NFL free. Don't wait for uh, free agency. Don't wait for NFL draft. Just make the move now. I don't think you could do it now. I think you go into the NFL. Super Bowl's over with. But make a move for Watson. Probably he's too expensive. Or we'll get Matthew from Detroit. Make a move. Don't. But if they want too much, don't go for it. Make a move, Bears. I'm tired of these Bears. Start hot, then later on start cold, finish cold, then they don't make the playoffs. I know they made the playoffs recently, but but these they didn't do very well. Sorry, I'm cold on why. Oh shoot! <clears throat> Sorry. So let me know what you think if the Bears should go after Watson or Matthew, or I should just wait for the NFL draft this April. Do you think the Bears should just make a block pressure trade? Do you think they should get a um, Mac attack? Because I guess he has a big contract. If so, that's going to hurt our defense. They got to do something. Have a good one. Go Bears. And I will discuss about more Bears next week. And other stuff. Take care. See you guys next time.